Hi and welcome back to MRTV. I am so excited to bring you this video. This is the official MRTV review of Stormland, which is going to launch tomorrow, 14th of November for Rift and Rift S. I already had access to it for a couple of days thanks to Oculus and Insomniac, so I could thoroughly play it for you and tell you if it's good or not. Well, you're wondering, is it as good as you have hoped for? No. It is better. It is unbelievably amazing. Actually, it's one of the best VR games that I ever played. Probably the best. Why that is so, I'm going to tell you in this review and it's going to be completely spoiler free so you can enjoy it. And all of this goodness is coming up. Welcome back to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang and this channel is all about virtual reality. I'm bringing you unbiased and honest reviews of games, of hardware, and I fill you in about the latest news. So if you're interested in that, why don't you subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. Before we get into the review, I would like to say thank you to the three MRTV champions, the three MRTV sponsors. That is Modicap doing these amazing modifications like the sound kit, giving you Sennheiser headphones for your Rift S or your Quest. Then Humanize, who are making the Views XR, my favorite VR 180 and 360 camera. It's really cool and amazing. Check the link down in the description below. And VR Cover, the makers of the hygiene solutions for your VR headset. And of course, I want to say thank you to all the Patreons who are supporting this channel. And if you want to join the MRTV Elite, do so under mrtvelite.com. But now, without further ado, let's get into the review. I don't even know how to start with this, so let's just ease into this review by saying Stormland is a masterpiece. This is the game that we've been waiting for in VR and it's going to be the reason for lots of people to want a VR headset, to buy that Rift S or to buy that link cable or for Quest owners who don't have a gaming PC to buy that gaming PC just to play Stormland. Yes. It is so good. Is it the killer app that we've been waiting for? Probably yes. Well, you didn't have to convince me about VR, but lots of people will be convinced about VR after they've played this game, after they've experienced what is possible in virtual reality. Stormland is simply a triple A production from beginning to finish. Think of something like Horizon Zero Dawn, but you can be in that game because finally it's a AAA production made for virtual reality from the beginning to the end. It is just so wonderful to be in that unbelievably beautiful world. And to make things even more amazing, you don't have to explore this world on your own. You can bring a friend and play this in co-op from nearly the beginning to the end. And that is really the climax to that game, to be in that world with a good friend. It's just so amazing. So what is Stormland all about? Well, it's a science fiction story that you play as a robot. And this robot, it just got rebooted. You're semi-functional, you're in this world, in this destroyed world, in your base camp, without any idea what actually happened to your destroyed world. The only thing that gives you clues are your memory fragments that pop up from time to time. Bit by bit, you find all the spare parts that fix you up again and that make you a fully functional robot. A robot that can climb, that can float, that can shoot, that has a shield, that has all these things that make the gameplay that I'm going to talk about in a moment so amazing. And then the battle for your world begins. Let's talk about the gameplay of Stormland. It's a great mix. You have exploration where you can freely explore the open worlds. You have lots of action involving amazing gunplay and battle scenes. You're flying around the world, you're climbing, you're solving puzzles. And on top of all of that, 
it's completely story driven where you get to know the characters your fellow robots that are actually so adorable that you truly care about them and you know that is always the best if you care about the characters if you truly like the story and want to know what's going on Stormland is an open world game so if you want you can go wherever you want to go and explore whatever you want to explore. Normally I'm not such a big fan of open world games. The reason is sometimes you don't know what you have to do and you're wondering what to do next so this is normally not my type of game but with Stormland it's different because you always know exactly what you have to do and if you want to stray off from the main story yeah it's going to happen because only it is just so beautiful and you simply want to explore what you're exploring at the moment but if you want to progress in the story you can easily do so and again you always know what you have to do next and I love that. I also love how you're eased into the game. It's not like other games that give you this tutorial, okay, press this button, then you can jump, do this and this. No, it's like you're directly in this world. You're waking up, you don't know what's happening and you can only walk around. And then you slowly learn your capabilities and that's part of the game. Since you find those parts, those spare parts that make you be able to climb, that make you be able to jump and float and do all the things that you do. So it is simply built into the whole story of the game and that's why directly from the first moment you feel you're part of the world and you simply can't wait to explore more of it. And you will explore so many beautiful and exciting things in Stormland. My very first play session was four hours in a row. And for me, that is really a lot since normally I don't play games for such a long time. But with this game, I simply couldn't put off the headset. Part of why it's so great are the controls. The controls are incredibly intuitive. After a while, it, they simply become second nature. You don't have to really think about what you're doing. You're simply doing, you're in that flow. That is true for running, for floating, for climbing, for everything that you do in that game. And the things that you do in the game, they feel so satisfying. The gunplay, for example, or climbing, climbing around, flying around, sliding around. Even walking around feels good since everything looks and feels so good and right. It is just a joy to be in that world and I can tell you, you will hardly want to get out of this world into our harsh reality. You want to stay in Stormland. And a big reason for that is the presentation. Oh my God, Stormland looks gorgeous. This is the most beautiful game that I've ever seen in virtual reality. I was simply just standing around like looking at how beautiful this place looks like, this world looks like and I seldom had this feeling in a video game. I can remember the last time that I had this feeling for a 2D game was Uncharted where I would simply look around and enjoy the vistas but now you're in that game, you're in that world and it even feels more impressive. The production values are simply over the top. Thank you Insomniac, thank you for giving us this game. And by the way, this is by no means a sponsored review. This is just me being utterly impressed. I really want to do an interview with the Insomniac guys because it's just too amazing what they have delivered here. If you want, you could wander through this world just looking at how beautiful this world looks like. The attention to detail is simply breathtaking. Like one time I found some kind of lava cave and it has nothing to do with the game itself and in no way was that like bringing you forward in the main story but you could go down that cave, you would see that incredible lava and all the interesting plants in that place and it was just unbelievable. I don't even want to know how many hours the designers spent to work on that lava cave. Unbelievable. The game would be breathtaking if it was a 2D game but as a VR game to be able to be in that beauty, in that incredible design is just a dream come true. 
it probably won't come as a surprise to you that immersion is over the top as well. You feel you are that robot. You feel you are in that world and you want to explore it. The reasons, of course, are that everything looks so beautiful, everything looks so real, that the controls are just so intuitive and that everything that you do feels like you are doing it without you having to think about what you have to press to do it. And therefore, immersion is over the top. It feels so good to slide from world to world. It feels so good to fly over an edge, to reach something. So immersion, amazing, just like all of the rest of the game. This is how a VR game should be like. This is how a VR game must be like to win the masses over for VR. Again, thank you Insomniac, thank you Oculus. Now the crowning achievement of Stormland is that this is a co-op game, yes. All the beauty that I just talked about, all the amazing gameplay, you don't have to only play it by yourself. You can play it together with your best buddy and you too can explore these worlds together, building great memories, bonding over these amazing stories, these amazing adventures that you're going to experience together. And you really, really want to experience this with a friend. So if you have a friend, please make him play this with you so that you both can bask in the glory of that game, that you can share these memories, can talk about it while you're in the game. I did it like this. I played the first two hours alone and then I played together with a good friend and it just felt even better. It felt like I'm on a vacation with my friend on one of these total recall vacations that they plant into your memories just like you are there in that moment. Go and play this with a friend. The co-op is fantastic. My conclusion, Stormland is a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece that you have to play. No matter if you already have a VR headset or if you have to buy one just to play this game. This game is going to sell the system. This game is going to sell the Rift S. This game is going to sell the Quest with the link cable and lots of gaming PCs will be bought just to play Stormland. Go and play Stormland now. As you could tell, Stormland is a masterpiece. And I wanna say thank you to Oculus and Insomniac for bringing this to us and for pushing VR as they do. That's it for this review. Now I want to hear from you. Are you going to get Stormland? Please do let me know in the comment section below. Or if you already got Stormland, if you come from the future and watch this later, please do tell me what do you think about Stormland. That's it for this review. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, why don't you do it now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. That's it and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.